Deep in Africa, an extraordinary troop of primates is at home in a swamp. In this watery world, Chakma baboons must swim to survive. They must also navigate the stormy waters of baboon society, where rank is everything. Last summer, a male named Boro arrived and fought his way up the dominance ladder. Now, he is king. While he reigns, the troop females will bear his offspring. But no king rules forever. Winter floods will bring tragedy, but also a new chapter in the life of Boro, the alpha male of the swamp troop. Every dawn breaks with a battle. Yet no blood is drawn in this display of dominance, during which the fittest males bark loudest and longest. Today's winner is Boro, the troop's alpha male. He barks that he remains superior to all others in the swamp troop. As the highest ranking male, Boro has earned certain privileges, including the pick of females during their fertile peak. This right improves the alpha male's chances of fathering offspring and passing on his genes. Females form the core of the troop and rarely leave it. They have no need for dominance contests since they inherit their mother's rank at birth and it generally remains fixed for life. The Swamp Troop's 70 Chakma baboons live in northern Botswana in a magical wetland that shrinks and floods with the seasons. Swollen by far-off summer rains, the Okavango River travels slowly across the arid Kalahari. It's winter by the time it confronts a dip in the Earth's crust and spills into an oasis that sustains the inhabitants of a parched land. This is the Okavango Delta, a lifeline of islands, channels and flooded plains. For Boro and his troopmates, wet feet are a fact of Okavango life. Most of the year, the troop must cross water in order to eat, mate, and sleep on a string of islands in their range. The late spring waters are shallow and present little obstacle to a troop on the move between islands. 